Yo, what's guys, and welcome to the best build in deep booking, okay? Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the meta has changed so much since my last video on the best build in deep booking, so, you know, it's finally time to actually change it, change it up, and fit with today's meta, okay? And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, bro, I spent three hours cooking this build with a ton of God Seekers in a VC, and... This is probably the best PvP build ever, okay? It's gonna be triple attunement, Gill Breath, Iron Sing, and then Flame Charm. And it's gonna be uh, Fist, as always, okay? Fist is just the best weapon type in the game. And um, yeah, it, it has so much synergy, and you guys are just gonna see, okay? So um, let's get started, okay? Um, after I progress this build, so I'm on Aquafina's account, right? And Aquafina, she has like 500 ELO or 800 ELO. So after I progress to this account, I'm actually gonna do a series where I go from 800 ELO to uh, God Seeker, okay? Using this build, right? Just to, oh my God, I'm so laggy. Using this build, right? Just to prove that, you know, this build is cracked. Like this build is definitely the best God Seeker build ever, okay? So yeah, watch out for that series where I go from 800 ELO to God Seeker in like a week. Because, listen, it's time for me to get back in the chime game. And I have no, like, I have no meta builds right now on my Supa account um, that can actually get to Godseeker. Because, bro, at a certain point in chime, it definitely, you definitely need a build carried build, right? So, that's what we're making. We're making it quite literally the best build in deep booking. So, we're going to trial one. Uh, I'm going to explain more of the build in trial one. Just so you guys can get, like, the idea of the build. But trust me, guys, this is going to be, like the most amazing build you've ever seen. It uses so much tech, and hopefully that tech does not get nerfed because it's really strong, so. And trust me, I can ramble about this build for hours because there's just so much to it, so much synergy and stuff like that, so. All right, Ram and Teresa, uh, let's go to trial one. Where I'm super laggy. I don't know why. Like, I don't know what's up with Deepo again making, like, my frame rate go down, but we persevere. Let's just keep on going. Also, make sure you guys go Vesperin for this race. Vesperin is just the best, like, PvP race, without doubt. It's better than Lightborn, like, quite literally. Like, uh, Lightborn, you get plus six extra attribute points, but with Vesperin, you get, like, uh, another exoskeleton, which is really nice, so. Okay, let's go down. Oh, wait, actually, I wanted to book quest because, bro, this is a triple human build. We need a ton of aces if we want this build to make work, or else, like, we're just gonna be suffering trial one because, like, we got unlucky with RNG, right? So let me do the book quest real quick so we can actually get um, a ton of aces. But guys, I am so, so, so hyped to make this build. And I'm so hyped to get back into Chime because it's been like a year since I did Chime, right? So uh, let's see how fast it takes me to get to God Seeker with this build once it's been maxed. But there is going to be like a lot of min-maxing if we get unlucky, so be prepared for that. Okay, Chime Dwelling. Let's go up here because we don't have enough of Jodi. No, please. Okay, we try again. Let's go on top of here. And bro, how do I not have enough of Jodi to get up there? Oh my god, hold on guys. There we go. Okay, perfect. Let's talk to you. Tell me more about it. And there we go. Uh, let's just get the book real quick. And then once we complete that, we get like six aces, which is really going to help us with the RNG of making this build. So All right, let's go down here, get the book real quick, and let's go back up, guys. Bro, there's two brain suckers following me. And like, I'm level one. I'm not going to be able to, like, bro, I'm not going to, I might take like an hour to defeat them. So I'm trying my best not to, um, get inside but hopefully they don't get me too low because i can actually make this jump oh we're chilling all right let's give him the book and let's go to trial one now finally all right let's go down once again and in we go okay now that we're in trial one uh let me just do the parry orbs real quick and then i'm gonna explain like what makes this build so good and why it's completely so meta in today's meta so under the threat of death are you able to defend yourself yes yes i am okay let's just do this stuff real quick all right so the first thing we're gonna invest into is iron sing um I'll explain why once we're defeating the Sharko, but you guys are going to figure out why very soon. All right, guys. So, of course, this is going to be a Shrine of Order build. It's not the best build in the game. The best PvP build, at least. Uh, it's not uh, Shrine of Order. Like, Shrine of Order is, like, a requirement to have, like, a meta God Seeker build. Like, you're losing out on so much points if you don't Shrine of Order, right? So, we're Shrine of Ordering, and we're going to do 75 Iron Sing and 50 Gale before we Shrine of Order, okay? The reason we're going to Attomb it first is because um, Attunement, how they work is they have like the old like Shrine of Order stats where it doesn't, like okay, if I have 75 Iron Sing, it's gonna turn into 26 Iron Sing once I um, Shrine of Order. So that saves me like 50 points. 50 points I'm saving because I have um, 75 Iron Sing, right? Or because I Shrine of Ordered. So here, let me keep putting it to uh, Iron Sing. I do not want to get 20 Iron Sing yet, so I'm gonna leave it at 19. Instead, we're gonna go into Fortitude. Um, the reason for this is we need a zero star iron sing mantra called needle barrage. Okay, needle barrage is a very important thing. Also, let's get uh, fishman for the plus five HP. Uh, oh, health pack. We're gonna burn loot skipper. Get health pack. There we go. Moving fortress. 
or blood iron spear. Bro, I never get moving fortress ever again. But um, here, I'm just gonna freeze moving fortress. I'm gonna get blood iron spear. Yeah, let's see here. Um, okay, I think this is needle brush. I hope it is. Okay, it is. Nice. We got me needle brush. Okay, I'm gonna explain why we need that, but let's just go with vitality. All right, guys, the reason we want needle brush is because it's a fast landing mantra that is super easy to hit. And it has like a, such a low cooldown. If we put like a blessed gem one, it has like a two second cooldown. And it applies like three rods, right? And the reason why we don't care about um, Iron Sing like damage and the mantras, well, we do care about the mantras, but not specifically the damage, is because is what makes Iron Sing so good is the talents. Iron Sing has the most meta talents in in the game ever, like actually. So um, like there's a talent that gives you 10% extra armor or 10% extra uh, damage reduction if you're above 90% armor. So obviously we're gonna have metal enchant, right? And there's also a uh, talent that makes it so if someone's completely out of armor, they take 10% more damage on top of not having any armor resistances, right? Here, let me just keep going to Iron Sing real quick, guys. And we should be able to level up as well. So hold on. Oh, no. We still have a mob. Anyways, as I was saying, so Scrap Singer, uh, with Scrap Singer, bro, it takes so, so much um, armor from your opponents. Like, it's not, it, it's not even based off damage. It's just based off how much uh, rods they have, right? And we're going to be applying so much rods with Nita Brush, um, Iron Hug, and also uh, Oxidizing Rush, okay? In like 30 seconds of the fight, their armor is going to be completely depleted. And now, because their armor is completely de depleted, you know what that means for us? We have um, an extra 45% extra damage on them, okay? Just because like the Iron Sing talents and stuff like that, they have no armor, they have nothing. Like, they're just defenseless. And you're at a big advantage when you're when you have armor, but your opponent doesn't, right? Obviously. And when you pair it with like the fast swing speeds of the fist and the amazing critical of fist, it is it's just really unfair. Like fist in deep Pokemon is easy mode. I I will say this until I wipe in real life. Fist in deep Pokemon is easy mode. I don't care what no one says. Light Fallen Toll is trash now because they removed the Way in the Vey critical, but that's why we're going Flame Keeper for the Way in the Vey critical, right? Uh, let's just keep going to Iron Sing. Most of the talents for Iron Sing is at 75 Iron Sing, so... Alright guys, so this is a Chime Conflict build, so we don't really need like talents like Replenishing Knockout, but this is going to be super useful when doing bounties, so we'll just get it. Actually, I want I want Ether Kit though, to be honest. Um, I'll get Ether Kit first, and if we get it again, then we're chilling. Alright, let's get Breathing Exercise for plus 5 HP. And let's get replenish and knock out. But yeah, when you're making like a chime focus build, you don't need like a lot of the overworld talents. Uh, let's just keep on vitality. We're gonna go four vitality, four proficiency, and, and four erudition, okay? Uh, let's keep going to Iron Sing. We need 75 Iron Sing because that's where you get most of the good talents. Or like quite literally all the good talents, right? And it's very important that we actually get a Scrap Singer. Scrap Singer is what actually takes away like all your armor or all the opponent's armor. Um, so yeah, it's very important we get that. Here, let's just defeat the angels real quick. Okay, that's the angels defeated. Um, all right, so now you guys know why Iron Sing is important. And we're only gonna have like 26 Iron Sing by the end of build because we're gonna be Shrine of Ordering, right? Let me explain why we're going Gale Breath now, okay? Gale Breath has a very unique tech that not a lot of people know about. Maybe you know about it from me because I'm the only person that actually uses this tech. Oh, okay, let's get Scrap Singer real quick. So now our Iron Sing mantra should be yellow as well. And now look at this, consuming rods with Scrap Singer reduces incoming pen against you for 14 seconds. Like, bro, it's just, it's too easy, too easy. A lot of these mantras are like mantras that like are really beneficial for you. Also, let's see what the mantra this is. Oh, firing line, that is trash. I, I'm very sad that we got that because I, I did not want that. We'll reroll it later, guys. Um, okay, so we're gonna go 50 Gale Breath for inhale and after cut. So we're gonna set up a, like a key bind to where every single time we press our mouse button, um, our tornado, we're gonna have tornado, right? It's gonna um, auto, auto faint itself. And basically what that does for us is for five seconds, we're gonna have after cut on every single M1, which is 10% extra damage. And we're gonna have speed demon on every single M1, which is an extra 30% extra damage. So that is 40% extra damage from just skill path. From just going Gale, not even having the talents or, or the mantras. Like the only mantra we're gonna have is um Astro Wind. That's that's literally it. So that's why we need like 50 Gale. I think everyone should have 50 Gale because fifth bro, for 50 investment points you get a 40% extra free damage. That is a steal. Like quite literally. Okay, let's just uh knock the enforcer real quick. Okay, there we go. We need to make sure we get Tornado, because Tornado is like the lowest costing uh Gale uh mantra anyway. So let's keep going Iron Sing. And we just need to go 75 and we're chilling. Okay. 
uh, Sand Knight. So the oath for this is going to be Dawnwalker. Just because Radiant Kick. Radiant Kick is just the best the best oath in the game. Uh, I don't really like Arc, Arc Warder for a PvE or a PvP because like you always have to like maintain it. So I, I just prefer having um, uh, Dawnwalker for the movement and a lot of like pressure you apply on your opponent. So, ow. Okay, we're two bars. We need to clutch up. Up oh, there we go. All right, perfect. Let's just keep going Iron Sing. There we go. Elemental Rebound. Uh, sure, why not, you know? Okay, and look, Exposed Durability. Deal 10% extra damage to opponents with no armor durability left. When we have, um, bro, that is, that's free. That's free. That's just free damage because we're having metal, okay? And look, Heavy Shoulders. When your opponent has three or more Rise or Dodger is slower, who would not want that, right? But I do want Scuba Drown instead because that's five, plus five HP and we need a lot of HP. All right, let's keep going Vitality. And you guys already know the drill. Okay, and boom, 75 Iron Sing. Um, we're gonna do Duke to uncap that for the plus five, 10 HP before we try and order. Cause like we're actually min-maxing this. Plus 10 HP is a huge thing. And now let's just go um, Fortitude. Or let's go um, 20 Gale Breath so we can get Tornado as well. So I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna start going Gale Breath. We leveled up. Okay guys, so we are not gonna go any path. Scrap Singer, if you go like any path with Scrap Singer, it's just gonna use up your um, rods and you wanna keep as much rods as possible cause Scrap Singer will deplete their armor in like 30 seconds, right? So instead we're gonna go uh, Polished Armor, you receive 10% less damage when your armor protects you. So obviously let's go with that. We don't need Warriors or Spite because um, this is a Chime build, so let's burn that and let's get Heavy Soldiers, Shoulders. And okay, there we go. We got Metal Arm in it, so let's get this. Also I wanna burn um, these guys as well so we don't get them later. Just because like we're don't go in triple tomb it, like you want to reduce the RNG as much as possible. So there we go, we're gonna put that on five. And let's just defeat the shark real quick. Bah! And there we go. Alright, now let's just go 20 gill breath, and we need to get 50 gill breath soon for uh inhale and aftercut. Okay, perfect. That's trial one done. Okay, we're done with trial one. Um we have five investment points in our name. Um by the end of it, we should be able to get 20 gill breath. So Hopefully we get Tornado, and then when we do that, I'll reroll Firing Line. So let's do some bounties, guys, so we can actually get XP. Also, guys, before I do, um, like, a bounty, I need to get an Iron Stasis first, so... Oh my god! What, what is the odds of that? Oh my... <laughs> Where are the odds the first chest I open is an Iron Stasis? I was, I was about to say, like, okay, so I'm gonna go beg some guy for an Iron Stasis, but it's, like, in the first chest we got. Okay, guys, let's, uh, let's go do some bounties now. Alright, guys, I've got bounties at Loricia. So I, I'm checking the leaderboard. I have like four bounties because um, yeah, there's four guildmates of like in their guild in the server One's a crit blade uh, As I just saw right now uh, There's bandits on us. So I want this guy to like auto grip the bandits, please But uh, Katrina is the bounty I teleport on so I need to make sure this guy does not um, Escape because if this guy escapes, I'm gonna teleport out. And it's just gonna be um very unfortunate, you know, so let me use Metal Arm in it, so, we, so we're stopped doing like 13 damage in M1. Because right now, Iron Stasis at level 6, which is what we are. We're doing 13 damage in M1. Like, it actually highly sucks, right? So, um, yeah, Metal Arm in it helps us not do 13 damage. And he's already knocked. Now we need to fight this guy. Um, they have more guildmates in the server. I'm not sure where they are. But this guy's Crypt Blade. And he unequipped his weapon as if he was about to, like throw um a projectile but oh my god bros get pieced see you guys this is why i say like oh okay that's them that's another one of their teammates no why did i pick up the bandits bro his his vicious shaper clone is gripping the bandits yo w vicious shaper clone also i'm super like glad they added uh tap dancer the base kit because now we don't have to spend 65 points for a tap dancer and tap dancer just makes you play a lot better he said save me random freshy Oh my god, Electric Carve looks so cool now. Um, Judas fight. Wait, what? Bro does not have Val Mastery. Press that Judas fight. Oh! What is wrong with him? Why would he do that? Oh my. Bro. Oh my god. Why would he do that? He's just like. Wait, why is he up? Wait, how did he get up? No way you have Imperial Slumber. Bro, why would he sacrifice off the max level while he's like... While he is... is knocked! Like, now the max level is... 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 is knocked. 
And I have no problem, like, defeating... I, I don't get it. I, I think who's more annoying... Where's Where did the Cripplade guy go? What? Where is the Cripplade guy? I'm so confused right now. I... I lost him. Bro, I... I just saw... I just saw him. And now he's, like, gone forever. Was I carrying a bandit this entire time I didn't notice? Did the Freshie, like... Steal him from me? I I'm genuinely so confused. Here, let's use Metal Arm in it. And boom, that's him knocked. Let's grip for the bounty. Guys, where did the Crypt Blade guy go? I'm I am in a bliss. I have no clue. Also, let me steal all this stuff. So I can actually um sell this stuff for notes very soon. But oh my god, I'm so confused. Where is the Crypt Blade guy? Alright, guys. Um, well, I, I can't believe he sacrificed off his friend. That that was definitely not the smartest move, but uh, let's level up and let's get 20 gale breath. So let's buy the gale, this gale kata. Oh, I need to sell some stuff first. Let me sell this stuff real quick. All right, let's uh, level up, guys. Okay, guys, we leveled up. Uh, let's see what we get. Bro, this this has been like frozen for such a long time. Let's get Phantom's Edge. This is really good with fists because like, bro, like fist has such low range. So that's just really good. Uh, let's see what else. Alright, let's get Metal Thief. So, pulling an opponent absorbs a portion of their current armor durability. Of course, why not? And we're just, we're just gonna burn all the uh, Rending Needle Pass because we need to save up as much, um, like, stacks as we can, you know? So, let's get... Let's see... Oh, your weapon criticals will now activate Scrap Singer. Of course, why not? Alright, there we go. And let's go Vitality. And boom, we're level 7. Uh, let's just go find some more bounties, guys. Alright guys, I've got bounties at um, Lower Aresia. It's like two guys. Um, I don't know who this guy is, but here, let me chase after the Jet Striker first. Um, of course, the Jet Striker's running. It's just in their blood, you know? It, it, it's quite literally in their blood, guys. You guys, listen, if you've been watching me for a long time, you know Jet Strikers will run. Just how, like, um, babies will crawl, right? It's just innate, innate stuff. But I do want to, like, try to get him knocked first. Um... We have two people on me, two max levels. I am level um, 17, doing 17 damage in M1, because uh, I have uh, Iron Stasis with zero light. But listen, we'll be fine once you're Shrine of Order. It's just, it's just taking us uh, quite a bit to knock people now. But you can't blame me. I'm level like seven, bro. Here, let me get, bro. Please, I get you're a Jet Striker, but running isn't all there is to life. Like actually, it there's more. There's more stuff you could do. You could parry. You could fight. You could stay. You could live. Okay. You have a you have a someone helping you right now. Yeah, you have this guy helping you fight, but you still want to run. Like why? I, I don't get it. All right, let's focus on knocking this guy, guys. Uh, Demon steps or whatever it is. They don't have any. Uh, he's lost my bounty. So when we grip him, this is gonna be a fat like XP um check. No. Give him back now. Do not run with the Jet Striker, please. No way he parried that. Please, give him back. If he picks him up one more time, I'm going to the ass pit. I'm dropping him in the ass pit. Because I am not about to lose this guy. I'm, I'm just not. Like, I I spent so long trying to knock him, right? So, um, please. Okay, let's focus on just... It's a 1v1 for now. I don't know if that Freshie's about to step in, but with my luck, that Freshie might as well just step in right now. Okay, boom, needle barrage. Here, let's pull him, get his armor out, because we have a talent that where we, when we pull people, uh, we take away their armor. Um, once we get all the scrap singer talents, then the stuff is gonna be a lot easier for us uh, to deplete the armor fully. Um, right now, we're doing 13 damage in M1. Actually, like basically seven damage in M1, because they have like a 35% damage resistance with their uh, master armor. So let's just parry this. And no, come on, let's go here. Um, Okay, metal arm in it. Oh, he has so much rods on him. Here, I want to activate Scrap Singer to be on. No! Is he on fire? Yeah, he is. Okay, not anymore because he dropped him. But, oh my god, why is there another guy here? I'm, I'm going to leave this guy on fire. Yeah, he's going to pick him up. I think he's going to pick him up. We're about to find out. Actually, no, he's my bounty. I'm getting teleported out. Bro, he's my bounty. I'm about to get teleported out right now. Yeah. Let me see if I can go back. We are back. Oh my god. He has a 75 forward to shield. I need that. Okay. We're back. I need that shield. Bro. 
because I'm gonna go uh, 90 fortitude before I level up. He like unequipped his shield for some reason. I need that Pathfinder shield. Like I actually need it. Why are you running in the water? Like, bro, I have Needle Barrage. I can just do this to you. And now there's nothing you can do. And I also get it up in the air. Bro, he's going to a whirlpool. Oh my god, you're you're so odd. Okay, we caught up to him. Where? What is happening to him? What is he doing? Oh, what? Just happened. I'm so confused. What? Where's his loot bag? No, the shield. Bro, the shield is what I wanted. Well, we got our get back at least. All right, guys. Well, that was two really good bounties. Um, I didn't get the shield, but 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 let's buy another Gilkada, and let's let's get the 50 Gil breath, guys. So let's try to level up. There we go. We leveled up. Um, let's see what we get. Uh, an Iron Singer's Instinct. Uh, of course, that's so good. No, there's Breathing Impact. I should have got a Breathing Impact. Oh wait, we got it again. All right, let me burn Jailer. We need to use as much rods as possible. Let's get Breathing Impact. There we go. And, okay. So, we don't need any of these. We're not even getting Champion Growth or either. Let's just burn this stuff. Um, we need Random Metal Mobility Mantra. This is, I think, Metal Ball. We do not want Metal Ball. So, let's just roll to this. Okay, we finally got one of our cards that we had frozen. So, that's really good. Let's see what else we get. Gill Leap. Okay, not bad. Perfect. All right. All right, guys. Uh, we're level 8. We need to keep leveling up, so let's keep leveling up the build. Let me just sell this stuff first. All right, guys, uh, let's go find some more bounties. All right, guys, I have a couple bounties at Loricia. No, don't log on me. He's going to log on me. Is he? No, he's not. Perfect. Oh, my, why is there a sacred field now? Okay, uh, let's just attack these guys. Bro, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of people, actually. So let me get out of the sacred field because, um, wait, are they chasing someone? Why? No, they're not. Okay, well, I think they all logged, except for this guy and um, the guy I put in combat. So, let's just work on uh, defeating them real quick so we can level up pretty fast. So, boom. Uh, let me use Metal Armament because, so, so we can actually do damage. Because, as, as you guys know, um, we do 13 damage in M1 with zero light weapon, iron stasis. It's very bad. So, we do need to uh, work on that very fast. Where did the max level go? I'm, I'm so confused. Oh, uh, there he is. All right, well, uh oh, there's three of them now, and an NPC. Three of them plus NPC. Um, here, let's just keep targeting this guy. Uh, his, they're friends, I guess. Yeah, they're all in the same guild. Fearsome fight fighters, wherever it is. There's like three of them. Um, let me just attack whoever. I want to put them in combat because they might like. Once once this guy gets knocked, they might either like save him or log from server. So I want to make sure that they stay in combat. So I'm gonna like hit this guy as well. Uh, one has secret field. And they're both um, Surge Path, I think. Or that might be Azur Flames. But, um, oh no, that's that's Azur Flames. Here, let me do Metal Armnit. Let's do this. Come on. No, 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 no. Come here. Bro, why are you running? Here, let's just try to snipe him. Um, I need to knock this guy for health pack. But, um, yeah, maybe, maybe it wasn't the best aggroing all of them. It's like NPCs, you hit them three times. And now they won't ever get off you, right? Um, he vent in. Oh, he's... Oh, I know that did a ton of damage. That had to have. Here, let's do this. Nice. Metal arm in it. And let's just ch keep chasing him. Come on. Boom. Don't heal on me. Here, I'm, I'm going to sit by this campfire and heal. I'm, I'm going to steal this heal, uh, the, the campfire healing. Oh my god, we're like piecing them up. And then we just, we're just parrying. Boom. Bro, they're, they're healing on me. Okay, hold on. Bro, I, I really wish I had like a bless gem right now. Because the bless gem would be putting in work. Not gonna lie. Bless gem would be so good right now. Um, that guy's running away. So let me stop him from doing that. Let me do metal arm in it. And boom. Okay, I thought that was me. Oh, he's so, he's so knocked. Bro, how do you get hit by that? How do you get hit by that and not get, um... And not get knocked like... Bro, that does so much damage. It's level 5 too, I, I would assume, since he's a uh, hero blade build, right? So, come on. Bro, please. There we go. Um, please stop running. He's so low, too. You guys could tell he's low because of how like little his uh, wind his wind passage took him. But it's like, I can't get him. Nice. There we go. We got health pack. Okay. There we go. Now we fight this guy. Um, I need to go to Acid Pit because, like, I'm glitched while carrying him and his friend's healing at this thing. So, um, 
I'm gonna go to Aspit real quick. Oh, hold on. Let's just run to Aspit. Or actually, no, I'll stay here, I guess. Here, let's just stay here. Hopefully, he doesn't have Imperial Slumber, because I'll just leave him on the ground. Yeah, he doesn't have Imperial Slumber. We're chilling. Oh, he's on fire, too. Now they have to save him. They gotta save him. They gotta save him. He got... I'm, I'm getting teleported out. I'm getting so teleported out. Oh, my God. No. I'm never, like... Bro, I'm never letting anyone burn, uh, burn anymore. Because, like, this is so unfortunate. Like, actually... Okay, I'm back. Let's put him in combat. There we go. Now they can't log on us. You can't log either, please. Nice, they're both in combat. Bro, he was like AFK too. Is he running now? Bro, there's nowhere you're running. Well, if you're running, then I'm just gonna uh, knock your friend. Like, can we lock in? Bro, why would he leave his friend behind like this? Um, Like, this guy's my bounty anyways. Like, it doesn't really um matter if the other guy runs. But, um, bro, it was going so good before. And then, like... I got teleported out because he got, um, he got, uh, no, don't hit me with that. Bro, it was going so good, but then he burnt, he burnt and got gripped that way. So now it's like nothing you can do about it, to be honest. Um, let's just keep attacking this guy, I guess, right? Um, what are you doing? Chill on me. Yeah, chill. Ow. Here, let's go up here real quick and let's fight him. Hopefully his friend comes back, but he might be healing um, or something. I'm getting a little bit low. Ow! Oh, there's his friend. Or no, that's the... Bro, that's the guy prior. Why is bro just, like, stalking? Like, over there, bro. <laughs> Here, let's do Needle Barrage and then Metal Arminate. We never got the bounty because he burnt to death. So, we have to fight him as well. Um, let me make sure this guy doesn't get away, though. Like, chill. I don't know why you're here. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use this campfire as myself. Boom. Let's get him. Let's just keep chasing this guy. Uh, let me let me uh, get out of that. Now he's running so hard. But it's fine, guys. Let's just knock him. We should be good. There we go. He's knocked. And now it's just this guy again. But um, I'm not sure where the guy with the sacred field went. To be honest. like I He just left them like straight up. But boom. Metal Arminate. Needle Barrage. It, it's wraps. It's wraps for all of them. Um, I wonder if... You know, I actually, I am actually curious. Did the, did the guy... Did the max level uh, leave this guy to get gripped or what? Is he actually going to come back? We're about to find out. Um, let me put this guy down. Let's see if he's in pure slumber. Because if not, then I'm just going to leave him on the ground. Because I am glitched right now where I can't actually um, carry him. Also, um, he said if you're not, you play just like him. <laughs> here let's do this no no it's him again jeez this guy definitely has a uh, phoenix flame so um let's just keep well i guess he healed up and came back i we have to make sure this guy does not burn because then i'm gonna get teleported out and he's just gonna get resurrection as well so um let's not do that oh my god my health what happened to my health like actually why is it going down so fast Oh, it's because Acid Rain. That's why. Ow. Come on. We need to pick this guy up. Okay. Uh, my health is... Sharko! Here! Sharko, here! Oh my god, wait, wait, wait! No! How? How does this happen? Oh, there we go. The Sharko came back to grip him. That's pretty funny. Well, bro, the Acid Rain... And, and, like, the Agitank Spark, like, knocked me, bro. That, that was actually so unfortunate. Well, at least we got that bounty. Um, let's get to 54, uh, 50 Gale Breath now, and then we'll get Inhale. And then, uh, we're looking pretty good. Oh, why is this Valgus? Bro, Valgus, you, do, you don't want the smoke, pal. <laughs> you don't want the smoke, pal. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just level up our Gale Breath. Yo, he tweaking. Why is he laughing? Okay, guys, after auto-clicking the Gale Kata for, like, what feels like 10 hours we have 50 gill breath um so we can get inhale now and also after cut so um let's go into forge now so we can actually level up before i do that i want to seek um a depth level wind mantra so we can get tornado because we need to um faint tornado so hopefully we get that soon and um okay let's buy the boulder there we go <gasps> oh no oops here let me just lock that stuff in case i level up, up an accident but let's get the boulder 
and we load it up and let's see what we get guys perfect we just got inhale so um let's get inhale now there we go and we'll use we'll start utilizing inhale once we get um oh after cut nice perfect okay as i was saying we'll start uh utilizing um this is perfect not gonna lie like, this is actually amazing for us um i don't know why we didn't get any burns because i would like to actually we're not getting rocket lance so let's just get tornado guys there we go we got tornado um we're just gonna infinitely like um faint this for a constant speed boost and uh constant after cut whenever we get speed demon because right right now if we if we were just to cancel this every single time it, it'd be useless because um like bro we don't have um we don't have speed demon so now let's just start going into um probably proficiency so yeah let's go for proficiency so now we're gonna go 90 fortitude and also 35 willpower and then we'll be good to um shrine of order so yeah let's do that guys but look when we auto faint this um we have a speed boost for five seconds and every single one of our m1s proc after cut which is really really good actually i'm gonna just uh start using i'm gonna, I'm gonna just start using it now because um we could still proc after cut on every single one of our m1s which is a 10 percent damage increase it doesn't matter that we don't have speed demon yet so yeah i'm, I'm gonna start uh using that tech now so i can actually show you guys but um let's do some bounties then guys let's let's go ahead and do it all right guys um i've got a bounties at lorisia um bro i was just like checking out the bounty see how much people are there and they like jumped on me before i could actually start my like commentary um so so far it's like two people one's like a foul mastery guy and i'm just like stuck with sticks inside of me right now uh, because of a uh, surge surge path um how did that not get canceled but um okay so i realized something i'm not gonna get the 10 percent damage on every m1 until i get maestro's blade maestro's blade is at 60 gale um i didn't realize that so we need 10 more gale to actually get that permanent 10 percent damage buff but that's not a problem um we that just means we're gonna get on next level right so we still have to go into Gale. I thought 50 would be just it, but we still have like 10 more points to go into. Like I said, not a problem really. Uh, let me use um, Metal Armnet so we can actually um, uh, defeat these guys quickly. Ow. And uh, yeah, let's just keep attacking them. One of them has Val Mastery because uh, this guy was just had fight on him before. Or not this guy, but the, the other guy. And then hopefully this should be enough like XP to... Um, level up once again and then we'll get um maestro's blade that's a that's a permanent um 10 percent damage buff and once we get that then what that basically means for us is um instead of doing 13 damage in m1 we now do like 15 damage so it's not that great but it, it adds up and then once we get like speed demon it's gonna be 40 percent extra damage like at all times like look how easy it is okay well you can't jump when like doing the the fainting thing because if you do that just doesn't work wait is this on me how is this on me I, that is so confusing here uh let's just keep fighting any of them i don't really know who but i don't really mind who okay he's knocked and now it's just him the surge path guy with the scythe um i hopefully he doesn't have live because i know he used fight on this guy if he has lived then it's gonna like it's really gonna cause some issues but i doubt it we'll see though let's just keep uppercutting there we go uh look how easy it is for us to get the speed boost like this is quite literally just a free 40 percent uh speed boost or 40 percent damage increase because uh all it takes is a qu click of a button and you get uh something as easy as this right so here let's just keep fighting him um they have four guildmates in the server it's only them two so far so we're low-key chilling on that let's just use metal arm in it he's half hp because his vision shaper clone just went off now which indicates that he's half so this guy's a whole max level and let's just piece him up we don't do that much damage right now since we have a uh, iron stasis with zero, zero light um but hold on bro vision shaper clones are so annoying but there we go um let's keep spamming metal needle barrage let's pull him back to us Oh, wait, did he dodge my pull? He did dodge my pull. What? Okay, boom. Oh, he. Oh yeah, he's almost knocked. He's had another vision shaper clone uh, up here, so that means he's like 10% HP, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh, so that's two really good bounties. Let's just grip them. He said, "Dang." Okay, let's grip them for the EXP. Cult of the Calabash. 
let's just take all this stuff as well. And, um, yeah, I'm going to steal everything they have, to be honest. I'm stealing everything. All right, there we go. Um, let's get 60 Gale Breath real quick, guys. Oh, one thing also. We need to do Duke because, um, I, I want to get... When you uncap your attunement, you get plus 10 HP for uncapping your attunement. And you don't lose that card when you actually Shrine of Order. So when we Shrine of Order, we're just going to have like plus 10 HP. Like we're actually like min-maxing this build to the max. So um, I'm going to DM Demon Fox, see if he can carry me with Duke. And hopefully he can, you know. Oh my god, Demon Fox replied instantly. Let's see, let's see what he says. Oh, he says sure. Yippee. All right, let me tell him the server and let's go to Duke, guys. All right, while I'm waiting on him, I'm just going to spam my, um, my, my Gale Kata thingy. Bro, Demon Fox is the GOAT. Like, Demon Fox is so goaded. I wish I wish everybody had a Demon Fox where someone they can DM, like, if they need Duke, right? I know most of you guys, you guys don't have friends. That's why you guys are watching progression videos. And I'll be your friend if you subscribe, okay? Listen, I'll be your friend. You can DM me about any of your issues. Just subscribe, okay? But anyways, <laughs> but anyways, um, it's so nice having someone where it's like, oh, if I need Duke, I can just DM Demon Fox. Like, he's really goaded like that. So, enough of the Demon Fox glaze. Let's go to Duke Manor and uh, let's start and let's just meet Demon Fox there. Oh, Demon Fox is in the server. The goat himself is in the server. Um, okay, let me just keep making my, my way. Guys, it knows this may seem really extra for plus 10 HP, but plus 10 HP is the difference between like you winning or losing a fight. Okay, okay we're at Duke. Uh, where's the goat? Who is this? This is not the goat Demon Fox. Is Demon Fox cheating on me? Who are you? Hold on, let me use Tornado on him so I can get some Gale XP. Hold on, how do I like, how do I like move Tornado up like that? I have no idea how to use Tornado. I'm just using it for the faint thing. Bro, Demon Fox is cheating on me, bro. That's not cool, Demon Fox. All right, guys, let's just uh, beat up these mobs real quick. Uh, to get to 60 Gil real quick, I'm just gonna use Tornado. And no, they canceled it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use Tornado. And uh, hopefully, bro, I don't know why the server turned so bad, but hopefully Tornado gives me um, a lot of Gale XP. But look how slow I'm swinging. I'm swinging so slow. Okay, there we go. Demon Fox the goat got us. Look at him, bro. Look at him hard at work. All right, let's go down. Get the plus 10 HP and then we dip, okay? Get okay, we're in Duke. He, uh, I asked him if he had a Pathfinder shield. He said no. Sad emoji. But, um, okay, let's use Tornado on these mobs so that we get a lot of uh, Gale XP. Okay, there we go. Bro, why is Tornado not actually, like, moving? Okay, there we go. It is somewhat. I know we could get, like, 75 Gale before uh, we Shrine of Order and get like an R plus an HP, but it, it would just like take away a lot of points from the build. So we're just gonna go 60 for Matrix Blade. Oh, uh, let's just follow Demon Fox, ignore these mobs. I think that's my tornado. And um, here, let me speak to Duke. Okay, there we go. And now that's Duke. All right, perfect. Let me see how much I get like increase real quick. I said to get the 60 and then I'm gonna lock it. But Demon Fox got us covered. Like we don't even have to do any of the work. Like we're actually just getting hard carried. Oh my god, I, I get so much like points from this. We're already at 60. All right, let's lock Gale Breath. We can get Maestro's Blade now. And now let's uh, let's probably help. Um, Oh my god. I almost just like got so worried real quick. I leveled up my Forge on accident. I thought I leveled up like something like else. Like what if I leveled up Charisma? I would have actually ruined the build. Okay, I'm locking everything so so that does not happen. I, I do not want that to happen. I'm locking everything except for Fortitude right now. Um, Okay, let's go help Demon Fox. Bro, if I leveled up like Charisma... I, I would have been devastated. I would have ruined the best PvP build. Like, five hours of my time would have been wasted. Oh, oh his shield's right down. He spawns minions. All right, let's uh, get these guys real quick. What, why am I getting pieced up by the minions? Okay, there we go. Our 13 damage um, say iron stasis is putting in the work, okay? Bah! All right, let's just uh, grip them real quick. And I really do not have to do anything. Demon Fox is doing all the work, so it's nice for us. <laughs> bro, Demon Fox is beating him up, bro. Uh, hopefully he doesn't auto grip him on accident with detonation. I do want the belly XP, but uh, all right. I know I Dean Fox has stopped uh, hitting him, bro. I have iron stasis. Please, Dean Fox, hit him, please. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. We are banging Duke against the wall, bro. He is getting demolished. Ow! I got demolished. I got I hit by his counter. All right, he's back to being demolished now. Poor Duke, bro is not. Oh my God! Why is Dean Fox doing a bar to me for just the AOE? He said he said that's why. Bro, why do you have detonation equipped, Dean Fox? Okay, but we're saved. Health packs are on the way. Let's just not die to them. Lol. Okay, we got a health pack from them. Let's just keep helping Dean Fox. To be honest, we're not helping Dean Fox. We're like more of a, like a, a nuisance. But listen, I want some hits in. I want I want to feel like I'm doing something instead of just being completely carried. Oh, that's Duke. No, my grip. 
He detonated Duke. It's fine. Um, let's see what we get in the chest. Okay, this is all trash, but this is gonna help us with um. Wait, the the path Pathfinder Defender. We got it. We got 75 42 shield. We need this. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, guys. Perfect. Perfect. We got the Pathfinder Defender. Um, I'm just gonna have Dean Fox hold on to the shield in case I like accidentally like sell it or something or uh get knocked with it. So I'm gonna have him join back and I'm gonna have him just store it for me real quick. But while we wait for Dean Fox, let's uh level up guys. So let's use let's level up Fortune with the boulder. And hopefully we get Maestro's Blade here. Return Dark Ages. No, do not give us that. Glide straight with the power of Gale's. Um, I don't want this. I think I want Haunted Gale instead, to be honest. Also, here, let's give um, Dean Fox the Pathfinder Defender. There you go. So now we're never going to lose that because Dean Fox the goat like that. Fists of Fortitude or, or um, let's see. Windstep. Wait, why am I not getting Maestro's Blade? I'm so confused. Let's just get Fists of Fortitude for, for now. Silencer's Edge. Bro, hello? Where's Maestro's Blade? Well, let's get padded armor real quick because that's just like free uh, damage resistance. And oh my god, we got it. Maestro's Blade and Hailing a Spell will cause the wind to be applied to your M1s. This is what we needed. And now we have a permanent 10% damage boost at all times. Uh, metal support mantra. All right, let's burn this stuff because we don't want this stuff at all. Let's burn you and let's just get you just because, right? Oh, wait, no, we need Iron Skin. Oh my god, that's really good that we got that. Perfect. All right, now let's just go proficiency. He said Aqua High. All right, guys. Um, So we have Maester's Blade. And now on every single M1, we should get like an aftercut effect that does 10% damage. So that's 10% free damage. Very nice. So now let's just do some bounties so we can keep leveling up, guys. So let's do it. All right, guys. Um, I've got bounties at Lorisia. Bro, this guy, this guy is like max level with uh, rags. Why? Hold on. Okay, let's just fight them. Uh, let's get aftercut. So now all our M1s apply aftercut for um, like two seconds every single time we spam um, faint uh, tornado. So that is really good because aftercut is a 10% damage increase no matter what. So uh, yeah, it's just really nice. Like look guys, like bro, we have aftercut on all, all our M1s right there. Um, and then once we get speed demon, instead of a 10% increase in damage, it's going to be a, um, it's going to be a, what's it called? Not temp. Don't heal on me, pal. Do not heal on me, okay? Um, but once we get speedy demon, it's gonna be a forty percent damage increase at all times. Just for why did that do a bar? Oh, it's raining. That's why that did a bar. Okay, but as I was saying, once we get speedy demon, it's gonna be a forty percent increase uh, in damage, like total, right? So um, that is very good, bro. All these, bro. These are the max levels with just starter armor. I'm like, I've never been more confused. Here, as long as we spam faint um, tornado, then we get 10% damage boost at all times. It doesn't really help us with iron stasis since iron stasis does no damage, but you can, you guys can see it's like proccing on every single M1. Like, it is so cracked. And this would be proccing speed demon right now if we actually had speed demon, but we don't. We're going to get that after we Shrine of Order. Let's just parry this. He's knocked. His friend's coming to save the day. Uh, let's attack this guy as well so he doesn't log. The most temporary guild. He said, don't fight them. Bro, this guy thinks he's in like an Undertale game and doing the passive option. Bro, you are not in an Undertale game. I promise. What is what is wrong with me? Why was I doing like the God Faint? <laughs> I was actually doing the God Faint. Okay, let's um just block that. I don't want this guy to get burned to death because we've learned our, our lesson like two times during this progression. A weapon is when people um burn. So I'm not trying to have that repeat. Let's just pick him up. Let's fight the max level in rags. I don't know. I don't know why in the rags to be. No, don't burn death, please. Come on. Okay. We have we have uh, after killing all our M ones now. Um. Well, we have around two seconds at least. But, bro, can I not hit you? I'm so confused. Okay. Metal arm in it, and then. Bah! Oh my God! Please, please. <laughs> Boom. Okay, he's knocked. Let's grip. And we should be good. He's not attacking, so let's grip him as well. I think you've seen the last of me. Uh, no, I don't, but here we go. And perfect. Okay. Let's check the chest. Let's just loot all of this. Let's just loot all of it because um, we need to get enough level to Shrine of Order soon. So there we go. Let's just put this in our inventory. We're going to sell all of this stuff, but let's level up, guys. Let's use the boulder and let's see what we get. Upper Silencer's Edge. 
Imperious Lumber. I don't want Imperious Lumber. I also don't have any aces to burn it. So I'm just gonna get Silencer's Edge. Okay, there we go. Steel Scales. So this is just um extra defense. Bro, this bandit's on me, bro. Please. Um, and let's see here. Silencer's Blade. Mm. Wait, when does someone get suffocated? Let me actually check. Oh, you get um uh, World Without Song when you have like uh both of these silencers things. So let's just get it for now, I guess. And then for the talent, let's just go, or the, the trait, let's just go weapon scaling. And okay, guys, let's do some more bounties. So we can actually get to level 12, you know. All right, guys, um, I've got bounties at Loricia. Oh, that Loki looks cool, bro. That that red Star Kindred Halo, that looks so cool. But here, let's um faint our Gale Mantra so we can actually proc Uppercut on all, all our, of our M1s, which does 10% extra damage. Um, um, I accidentally used Tornado, so I have to wait a little bit before I can faint it. But there we go. Uh, now for like two seconds, we have a 10% damage boost. And it's such an easy t damage boost as well. Uh, let me also hit his teammates, so his teammates don't like, um... He said, what? Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, this might be a skill issue. What? What do you mean? What might be a skill issue? Here, let's just hit them. Um, boom. There we go. Metal Arminate as well. It's a, it's a gang of three people, but we thug it out. We win these, okay? Here, as long as we keep um, abusing Aftercut with the fainting thing, then we're chilling, you know? Oh, that guy's uh, coming in too. Okay, well, let's do Needle Barrage, get some uh, rods in, and let's pull him to us. There we go. Uppercut, more uh, speed thing. And yeah, right now we're chilling. I can't wait until we get Speed Demon. So we have a th so we have a 40% damage boost at all times. It's not gonna help us with the Iron Stasis, obviously, since we do like 14 damage with the Iron Stasis. But it's gonna help us with a lot of other stuff, um, like when we get the Flame Keeper, right? Um, so the Flame Keeper does like 30 damage. Um, when we when we have that, oh, nice health pack as well. But when we have that, that's gonna be like, no way. Okay, I need to knock you now, bro. Mind Tooth heals like a bar. This is worth. This is worse than like Link Strider or fighting someone with Link Strider. I need to I need to get rid of him now. Cause this is unironically worse than fighting someone with Link Strider. As long as um here, I just want to get some aftercut procs off, to be honest. There we go. We have metal armor as well. A lot of decent damage going on. And as long as we spam uh needle barrage with wind wind gem. Or not wind gem. I uh, bless gem. We don't have bless gem yet. We have to find someone with one. This guy have an M tier, so if he gets knocked, he, he will probably have one. I, I would assume, right? It just makes sense. No, come back with him. Come back with him! Give him back! I'm being so serious. Give him back, please. There we go. Nice. Oh, he's knocked too? They just got health pack from that. Ow. Okay, let me pick this guy up. I don't really care about the guy in rags. I care about um the red... Star Kindred, okay, because that's the person I originally void walked on. It was um the red Star Kindred, so I think their armor it completely depleted because of Scrap Singer. I'm not entirely too sure. But um here, let's just keep doing this. Little needle barrage. And but we're actually piecing them up. Here, let's bring him to me. Yeah, their their armor's like completely depleted. Um this guy's obviously max level. I think he's just uh transmogged his starter armor to be honest let's get these guys off the campfire as well because i don't know why you're healing on me can we lock in let's lock in please like no one said you can heal okay but yeah let's keep fighting these guys let's do critical ow let me vent them off real quick and uh we're ch no okay okay now we're chilling boom the guy in rags should be knocked how are you not knocked kill i want okay there we go all right now we can swap now we can swap them out, okay? Oh my god, please. Oh wait, he's on fire. No! We learned this lesson before. We have learned this lesson. Do not let them burn, okay? If they burn, they get teleported out, and it's just bad. It's, 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 it's very bad what happens. So, we need to focus on this guy. Uh, let's make sure this guy does not get up. Let's knock the guy in rags as well. And then it will just be a 1v1 with the uh, Evan Spirit Kid. So, here. Oh, he logged! If this guy logs, then I lose. I'm going to get teleported out. So, let's see. Let's see what happens. Um, he might come on our slot, to be honest. It depends on, like, how mad he got. But, here. Boom. 
The guy in rags is just healing. I don't really care about him. He said, how much HP do you have, man? Bro, you guys barely hit me. I'm like, I'm still full HP. Like, what do you mean? Um. All right. Boom. After cut on three M1s or two M1s because he parried. And we don't like people that parry, okay? Boom. What, are, what is he doing? Boom. And it's, 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 it's basically over from here. How much HP does this guy have? See, this is how you know he has fake starter armor. Because he's so tanky, bro. He's so tanky. Here. Bop. 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 And then we have metal armor in it now. Or let's do critical. Ow. Bro, please. Please just get knocked. You're making this difficult. Where did he go? Why are you just standing there? Um, how much, how tanky are you? You have bell too? That is crazy work. Where'd you go? Why are you running? Well, I don't blame you for it. No, I do blame you for it. I'm level 10. I'm level 11, actually. Guys, I might be schizophrenic. Okay. Why are you running? Bro, I see your Gale Wisp with the smoke screen. Or, no, this might be the guy I'm carrying. Huh. Well, let's just grip him. I honestly have no clue where the other guy went. Like, actually. Let's see if, he's, if he has a Bless Gem, though. Um... Oh my god, the other guy came back on our slot. I knew it! I, I knew he was like coming back on our slot, that's why he logged from the game. Well, it's too bad that like, it, it's literally like too late, not gonna lie. Ow. Here, let's use metal arm in it. And um... Bro, my inventory is a mess, cause I... Cause I um... Bro, when did this guy turn into parry demon? Hello? <laughs> Alright, let's parry this stuff. Um... Ow. 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 Okay, well, I'm stuck in this infinite combo. Um, let me just rearrange my inventory. So, um, please. Can I can I please move? I don't know why. It's like I'm stuck for some reason. Okay, well, I... I am I selling? Chat, am I selling? Okay, let me actually focus up. I don't know why I'm selling so hard. I just... You know, maybe, maybe it's just one time thing. Bro, please. And there we go. We got rid of the NPC. Okay. We have an uh, inhale. For some reason, he didn't get inhaled. I think it's because he Gale. Um, I'm not sure how that works, but I know I did inhale. Bro, did inhale break? Why is it not inhaling them? Okay, there we go. Metal arm it into this. And yeah, let's just, uh, let's just wait out his thing. Um, I, I like super sold in the beginning, but now I'm not selling no more, so that's good. Let me also spit on him as well. Um, when we get tap dancer, or no, when we get um spine cutter, what we're gonna do every single time we posh break someone with our critical, we are gonna um like teleport behind them, or not not teleport behind them, but we're gonna like just do spine cutter behind them. Like, look, um, I I ragdoll canceled behind him. If I actually had spine cutter there, that would count it as an extra hit, right? So um. It would just make our criticals even more punishing. Also, how much HP do you have? Please. Why are you not knocked yet? I'm so confused. Boom. Needle barrage. And... How are you not knocked? Let's bring you back. Oh. Oh, you're... Oh, you're doomed. Never mind. He has Astro Wind. Uh, should I even fall down there? I have nothing to, like... For fall damage, you know? I actually have nothing. I mean, I'll try. Right? Here, let's do this. There we go. All right, now we have Needle Barrage, and we're back on him. Boom. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a Rapture for you. And we have um, a speed we have a speed boost as well with um, our inhale thing. So, bro, can I? There we go. Um, I have Fishman, so I can just grip him here. He said GG. Um, okay, GG. This is going to be a ton of XP. So let's check the chest. It's all trash, but I'm just going to get it so I can sell it later. All right, guys, um, let's see if we can level up. So let's use the boulder, and hopefully we can, because, okay, somewhat. Let's just uh, level up real quick, guys. Oh, all right, guys, we leveled up. Let's see what we get. We have 51, 51 Fortitude. Oh, Road Without Song. Uh, sure, why not? Also, let's burn Imperial Slammer, please. Okay, Road Without Song, there we go. Let's see what else we get. To the finish, perfect, there we go. And as for the mantra, we got 
uh, I don't want any of these. Let's just pick um, Metal Ball just because, just to get it out of our uh, pool. But I do not want Metal Ball, to be honest with you guys. So let's just get it just to get it, right? And okay, we're level 12. Um, I think I'm going to Shrine of Order in part 2. I'm just going to leave um, leave part 1 at level 12. But, um, bro, I'm having so much fun, fun with this build. It's so strong already at level 12. And just wait until we Shrine of Order. It's going to be so cracked. But, um, yeah. Okay, that was part one. Subscribe if you enjoyed. And part two should be tomorrow. I promise if I'm not lazy, okay? So, yeah. I'll, I'll see you guys. And bye-bye.